two things that pop in my head is the scripture from first Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. You know, I mean, according to the scripture, it said you won't be tempted behind uh, what you can handle. Another thing that I think about is Job. Yes, you know what? I, I definitely believe that with God, we can endure all things, you know? Sometimes, I mean, we're going through stuff that we definitely feel like we can't handle. And guess what? If we, you know, without God, we can't. What, what can we do? So some things might be too much for us to handle, but with God, with, with the grace of God, His almightiness, His sovereignty, we can endure all things. So it's about, you know, it's about us. It's about our relationship with God, our dependency on God. He, like you say, he's made strong in our weakness. You know, all the stuff that Job went through, you know, from, you know, physically with his body uh, to losing his family members and everything like that. You know, uh, after it was all done, you know, he was, he, you know, he was good. You know, he had uh, more kids and everything like that. You know, he got restored but you know he went through a, a lot right a, a whole lot to where his wife was telling him that won't you just give up on god um and then see this is this another thing right here people automatically assume that if somebody going and they did this to job too now that i think about it they people people assume that if you're going through something god must be punishing you or you must have done something wrong but what did job do job didn't do nothing. as a matter of fact job was good uh it was just a test. God, you know, God allowed him, allowed for the enemy to test Job. So it wasn't that Job was, you know, out of line or out of order. Not saying that that can't be the case. A lot of times, you know, somebody can be going through something. We can be going through something because of, um, you know, something that uh, our wrongdoing, something that we are doing. Some things that we know about and some things we may not even know about. You know, some things that we might need to seek God about, right? But you know, what about those times, like Job, what, you know, he's a, he's a good example. What about those times, you know, where you, you can't, I mean, what, 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 what you going to tell Job according to the word? He was good, right? He was just being tested. He, he wasn't aware of it, but he was just being tested. So sometimes when you're going through something, Man, you just sometimes, you know, I, I will always definitely say prayer about it. Always seek God to see if you, you know, uh, if, there, if there's something you can do about it. Uh, some things that can be rectified, uh, you know, something that, you know, you might have, you know, have some attachments to or uh, something like that. You always want to do that, right? It's just like if you're itching, right? You're going to scratch it. You know, that's the first thing. You know, you want to pray, you want to see God, you want to size up what's going on, right? Sometimes you might have an itch and you scratch it and it's still itch. So you might say, you know what, let me go get some ointment. Put the ointment on and the ointment work. Sometimes you might itch, you scratch it, don't work. Put some ointment on, don't work. You might go to the doctor. Doctor able to tell you what's going on. But sometimes you might have a, 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 a itch or an issue. You address it, it don't work. You go buy some medication, it don't work. You go to the doctor and he don't, he, he's confused. He don't know what's going on. Now what do you do? I know one thing that you can do. You can just continue to do what you know you are supposed to be doing. Like continue to stay in right standing with God. And one thing that you don't need to do is start attaching stuff to your to your breakthrough or, uh, or, or to your happiness or to your suffering being over. You know, like associating, if I start doing this, I'm going to stop suffering. Uh, uh, if I stop doing that, I'm going to start suffering. Look, sometimes, man, you might get to the point where you don't know what's going on. Straight up. We don't know everything. Job, Job, being, uh, did he know what was going on? Sometimes you might get to that point. Huh? Like I said, and these might be rare instances. A lot of things might be able to re be resolved through those other things that I talk about. But I'm talking about the times where you don't know what's going on. Things are absolutely terrible. You are miserable the whole nine. You don't know what to do. You don't know if you've done something, if you didn't do something. You just don't know. In those instance, instances, you still just continue to do what you're supposed to do. And I'll say it again, stop attaching things to your breakthrough and stop attaching things to your happiness. Sometimes you just got to live straight up. You just got to live. Sometimes you got to live day to day. Sometimes you got to live minute to minute. Sometimes you got to live second to second. Your, 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 things might switch on you in a matter of seconds, your mood, 
uh, how you feel, stuff like that, circumstances. You know, you might be so fragile at the time because of your situation that, you know, any little instance can make you go from happy to sad. You know, sometimes you planning is a great thing. Looking ahead is a, is a great thing. But sometimes you might not be able to look ahead. Looking ahead might be discouraging because you might say, look, what about sometimes, look, and this going to sound, sometimes hope not enough sometimes. Sometimes you need something to happen, right? And to me, 99% of the time, hey, you got hope, you got something. But what about when hope ain't enough? When you need something, that, that's what I'm saying, right? Sometimes hope requires you to look to the future, to start planning ahead. Sometimes you're in a position where you can't do that. Cause you don't even see, you can't even, you, you don't, you don't even see what's going, how something can change. That don't mean nothing can't change just because we can't see it. But sometimes you can't see it. And sometimes it hurts to think about it because it reminds you of what you don't have. It reminds you of your nothingness. It reminds you of your misery that you're going through and what's causing it or whatever may be causing it. If you even know what's causing it. But the only thing you do know is that you are miserable. You are hurting. You are, you are all these things and thinking ahead on them things that could be that you know you don't have and don't see coming can remind you of that misery, make you feel it again. So sometimes you got to think second to second. And another thing that I hear people say, and I disagree with this, right? A lot of times when somebody going through something, somebody might say, well, sure, at least you're still living. I mean, just, I, I mean, just because somebody's still breathing, don't mean that they are right. Don't mean they handled this the situation well. You know, what if they taking it out on their kids, beating their kids and mistreating them, mistreating their husband, mistreating their wife, uh, developed addictions. Okay, they still breathing, but they, how are they handling the situation? Is it good? This can lead to other problems. This can lead to problems for other people. Just because somebody literally still breathing don't mean that, well, it's all good. Uh, um, you're all right. You're living. Well, I mean, is, is that really long suffering? I, I mean, is that proper long suffering? I don't think so. So I, I don't judge whether somebody good or not or if they still living. Now, I know sometimes people may say that just as a form of encouragement to a certain degree to, I guess that's, uh, there can be somebody where I'm saying, you know, things, you know, um, hey, man, you still got a chance, you know, things can turn around. You still got life in your body. Somebody may be using it as a form of encouragement. But I think some people genuinely saying, shoot, man, shoot, you're living and, and really feel like that's the end all be all. How, how is that person living? You know, that, 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 that matters too, right? Living, you know, I mean, are they still with God? You know, uh, is there, you know, is there faith wavering, you know, stuff like that. And even if we ain't talking about spiritual things, like I said, you know, is it affecting uh, relationships? Is it uh, causing them to do things that they shouldn't be doing? Stuff like that. That's just a little something that I was on my mind. Uh, you know, I just wanted to share with y'all. See the invisible stuff.